All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, Assassin. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. Here we go. Early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Nice punch, Lance. Checks that leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, 
one. He connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the ring to land those punches. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Ooh, head kick lands. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. He's bleeding from his cheek now. Big kick lands. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the front stop. Beat his leg up. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, huge head kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. So an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is a money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds it out. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the good show, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Blocks that strike. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to hit too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. He loaded up there on that high kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Effective punch there by Lou. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. Ooh, blocks the shot. So he's really... Oh, no, no. Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Oh, 
Signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good night. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! Oh! You see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice counter jab there. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. It's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the line that's your feel is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. He went high on that one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back to the feet! Body kick is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here. Oh! Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for all replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout assassin. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.